What is it, Lieutenant? Sir, the Mayflower's in trouble. She's coming in hotter than a firecracker, sir. We better get to the tower, Lieutenant. We have no tower, sir. No tower? Just a bridge, sir. Why the hell aren't I notified about these things? Lieutenant, how would you handle this? We could try ignoring it, sir. I see. Pretend nothing has happened and hope everything turns out all right in the morning. Just a thought, sir. I've considered that. There's got to be a better angle. If they've lost their crew and are on manual, who's in control of that bucket, Lieutenant? Some guy by the name of Ted Stryker, sir. Ted Stryker? Do you know him, sir? Never heard of him. That's not exactly true. We were like brothers. We flew together during the war. We were close, real close, until... Until, sir? Until that day over Macho Grande. Over Macho Grande, sir? No, I'm afraid I'll never get over Macho Grande. Forget it, Lieutenant. It wasn't a pretty picture. Let's go. Right, sir. What have you found? All I found is that these red lights keep moving back and forth. Aside from that, this thing seems to have no other function whatsoever, sir. Well, it's impossible. It must have some sort of function. I mean, why would the government put all that money into a thing with red lights that keep going back and forth? Doesn't make any sense. Keep working on it. Sir, yes, sir. these lights keep blinking out of sequence, sir. I see. What should we do about it, sir? Get them to blink in sequence. You. Rorschach. What do you got? Well, we've run these tests, sir. Thank you, Rorschach. What do you make of these, Captain? It's a bird. Mm -hmm. It's a cow. It's a horse with a hat on it. Sir, I pulled Ted Stryker's record. And? I don't think you're gonna like it. My God, that's worse than I thought. Sir? They should hit our atmosphere in about three minutes. How do you want to play it? I want a six-foot trench dug around the entire base, fill it with gasoline. Sir! You. Yes, sir. Get the women and children to the lower shelters. Contact the Japanese ambassador. Sir. Roger! Yes, sir. Get me a complete file on everyone who's seen the sound of music more than four times. Yes, sir. On second thought, kill those orders. Down scope. Fate can play a strange game sometimes, Lieutenant. Fate, sir? Stryker wipes out his entire squadron over Macho Grande. And now those people's lives up there are in his hands. I guess irony can be pretty ironic sometimes. But it's his ship now. He's the top dog. The big man. Numero uno honcho. The head cheese. Hope he has the right stuff. Up scope. Sir, we have radio contact. Stryker, this is Buck Murdoch and Alpha Beta. Do you read me over? I read you, Murdoch. Hope he's not still bitter about what happened between us during the war. If it weren't for those people up there, I'd say let Ted Stryker go down in a fiery, twisted mass of molten metal. Okay, Stryker. Let's just pray you don't screw up here like you did over Macho Grande. So just follow orders. Roger. We got your lockdown beams. We get ready to kill your auxiliary engines. Roger, Murdoch. All right, Stryker. Kill the auxiliary engines. <laughs> Murdoch, the damn lever just came off of my hand, and we're still at war. Try another lever. There are no more levers, just switches. No buttons? No, no buttons, just switches, lights, and knobs. Oh, cut the bleeding heart crap, will ya? We've all got our switches, lights, and knobs to deal with, Stryker. I mean, down here, there are literally hundreds and thousands of blinking, beeping, and flashing lights. Blinking and beeping and flashing. They're flashing and they're beeping. I can't stand it anymore. They're blinking and beeping and flashing. Why doesn't somebody pull the plug? I'm all right. I'm all right. All right, Stryker. You're going to have to pull that lever panel off. Do you understand? Just rip it off. Roger. Stryker, find a piece of metal and shove it in there. A piece of metal? Hurry, Stryker. Any piece of metal will do. I give my right arm to get a piece of metal from this room up to that poor boob right now. I mean, here we are, surrounded by metal, Purvis. And it's useless. Might as well write them off. Let's close up the bridge. Let's get out of here. Close it up. Lights out. Hold it, Murdoch. I think I've got something that just might work. Wait. A bobby pin. A bobby pin? 
What the hell's a man doing with a bobby pin? Huh. Lights on. All right. All right, Stryker, if a bobby pin's all you got, it'll have to do. Just shove it in there. You're going to have to short that thing out. Starting to shake. She's starting to shake. Uh, starting to shimmy. She's starting to shimmy. Uh, starting to... Starting to, uh... What? What is she starting to do? Stryker, what is she starting to do? Shudder, Ted. She's starting to shudder. She's starting to shudder. How bad is it, sir? It's not good, but at least she's not beginning to crack up. She's beginning to crack up. Ah! Quiet! Quiet! We're monitoring you all the way, Stryker. Keep her nose up. Don't fight her. I'm trying, but she's fighting me. Stryker, we don't have a hell of a lot of time, but I want to tell you this. You pull us off, and there's going to be a lot of people who just might forget that Macho Grande ever happened. We're going to get it down, and down safe. Stryker, we've just hooked into a radio communications satellite. And as we speak, our transmissions have been broadcast all over the world. Billions of people hanging on our every word. The eyes, ears, noses, and throats of every American are on you, Ted. Each one of them hoping and praying that you can put that ship down on the ground in one piece. Now, Stryker, start by positioning your landing gear. All in your plans. Just keep it level. There's no looking back. Put on your horizon sensor and level off. I said, both hands, damn it! I don't find her, Stryker. Hold her steady. Hold her up! Get those turbochargers. Now check the sensors. Deploy your secondary boosters.